I film these magpies here. The actual day I will go in doing pest control on this certain farm. And this farm we have curlews, oyster catchers and lapwings nesting very soon. And if these magpies come in contact with them, especially the chicks, they won't stand a chance. And also this certain farm he has a problem with pigeons coming into his buildings. I've actually got myself inside an old milk float and uh, this curtain here is ripped and I'm facing in this building and I'm shooting probably up to 65 yards. So yeah I'm shooting out this hole here and I've got my FX King just here at my side and I'm shooting into the back of this building so it's all nice and safe. And I've got my King here if anything comes, I just poke it through like that, nice and steady, and uh, I'm away. I don't just like poking the barrel outside, but I can't do anything else. So yeah, I'll wait now and see uh, what comes in. I might have to have my face yet because uh, won't come in and see me through this gap. It's a bit windy, but never mind. It's magpies, now I can see them down here, but they won't come in yet. There's a wood pigeon coming. This first shot was actually a fatal shot, but even so, if I wanted to take another, I still had to wait for the pigeon to stop flapping before I could take it. I gave him another shot, but to be honest, it didn't need it. But I did just in case. Two magpies just landed. It went down nice. He's a uh H and N slugs. They do work well, they do. Nice one. I were actually spot on this magpie here, but just look what he does just as I pull the trigger. I've said this before and I'll say it again. This is the only downside using FACR rifles when you're doing pest control. Me personally, I don't take these kind of shots. But if you wait, it does pay off. Yeah, big disaster here. When I shot that last magpie, I knocked over my camera and broke it. <laughs> so it kind of messed up this video. But I've got another now and I am going back. As you can imagine, I had to mute the sound because I was uh, swearing a bit. <laughs> There's a big bloody rat about eight foot in front of me. He went down, didn't he? Mm. Should have been a gladiator, mate. Yeah, here I'm just uh, trying to think I'm 18 again, but 
one of these days I'll come a cropper. <laughs> I'm back in another fine building. And this is an old silo that's had a roof being fitted. And I'm on some big straw bales, probably eight high, so I'm quite high up. It's a good job I can climb because uh, it took some getting up here. <laughs> but anyway, I've got my FX King 22 FAC. I've got the Element Optic Helix on top and I'm filming through a tax cam. And I've got a Magpie decoy out at 50 yards. And hopefully I should decoy some magpies. Because this farm here, it's another farm. You know the score. We have a lot of ground nesting birds. We will have sheep and lambs here probably in a couple of weeks. So I always do, you know, Corvid control here. So anyway, let's get to it. Nice one. He went down nice and clean. Yeah, first pigeon down. We have a wood pigeon here, but uh, there's diesel tanks and fertilizer tanks and all sorts behind it, so it's a lucky pigeon, really. I'm going to try some with my FX King here because when I turn the power right down, when I shoot pellets, it's doing 16 foot pound. So what I'm going to do, I'll shoot this slug off. I'll shot the slug off now. And, uh, that now is turned right down. And I was using 25 grain H&Ms. I'm now going to use 16 grain AAs, pellets. I'm going to have to empty my magazine. When I shoot pellets now, I'll be doing 16 foot pound. So, I'm a lot safer shooting in the building. I'm going to see what happens. And I know I've got to put my score at five clicks. So that's now zeroed for 16 grain AAs. Also, I've got to empty these slugs out and put in pellets. This should work. It's more of a test, really. Move the magazine. Let me seal it. All my slugs put away, and I'm now going to do 16 foot pounds using pellets. And this is why I like this FX King because it's now kind of building friendly. And the first shot should be spot on because I've been testing this for weeks. enough for now. So yeah, let's try it. I'll uh can I shoot at I'll just test me zero on a storm. Yeah, so I'm now on 16 grain pellets, doing 16 foot pound. So it's still FAC, but 16 foot pounds not gonna, you know, it's not gonna damage anything. So yeah, let's get to it. 
Yes, yeah, so I've now gone from 56 foot pound down to 16 foot pound. And uh, still accurate, still shoots spot on. I've had time to score five clicks, which is nothing. But, uh, you know, 16 foot pound is building friendly. If I shoot a pigeon now, it probably won't shoot through a pigeon. So yeah, that's the good thing about this FX King, you know, you can have it up and down power-wise, it's good. Yeah, if you look close here, I zoom in and you can see the pellet hasn't passed through the pigeon but it's still enough power to kill it so yeah, that's good Nice one He went down nice He fell down, I can see him on the floor flapped a bit, you know, but yeah, he's down so yeah, perfect All nice and safe It's the way forward, isn't it? We have here a pair of collared doves and uh, I don't shoot them either. This footage here is in the same barn but when he had me Alpex 4K on the Wolverine and it's a 12 foot pound air rifle and I'm just showing this because a 12 foot pound air rifle at the correct distance is just as deadly as an FAC air rifle. In fact, sometimes I even shake my head because I seem to get even better kills. There's a stock dub just landed 10 feet off me. <laughs> but like I said, we don't shoot stock dubs. Anyway, I think that's it for today. I've uh, I've shot a magpie and a few wood pigeons. I did intend shooting them all at 50 yards outside. That's because I was using this and using slugs. But it didn't just go to plan, you know, they didn't decoy that good really. And uh, I had a few pigeons in the building. And I turned it down. Like I said, to low power 16 foot pound later on, but I probably turned it down too late because I could have had a lot more shots in this building if I'd been using 12 foot pound air rifle. So next time I come back here, I'm going to use my Wolverine and I'll probably put the Alpex 4K on top and I'm going to get in a different position and uh, hopefully I should get more shots. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to have to go and pick these up and home time. But yeah, when I'm getting down, I think my age does catch up with me. <laughs> I've just got down this loft and uh, there's more magpies coming back in. Can't win, can you? And yeah, I have been out fox shooting, but this is what happens every night I go. I don't know if you can see or not, but it's raining again. So I've been here for the last three quarters of an hour. Everything's wet through. So I'm going to pack up and go home and watch masses of the air because that's better than being here. I'll see you another time.